I think there's been substantial progress in a number of areas. I think in terms of therapy development, there has been real progress uh, combining forces with the uh, incredible staff in the gene therapy unit. It's been possible to show that one can put gene silencing elements into the nervous system using viral delivery and in so doing turn off some of the toxic genes that promote the disease and thereby increasing survival at least in animals. Uh, the question is can we take this most uh, rapidly and far enough along to get into humans in the near term and I think the answer is, a f is yes we can. There are now defined at least 50 genes that have been implicated as playing a role in causing or modifying ALS and um, you know what each gene does is if well understood anyway uh, define a pathway of events that lead from a gene defect to the disease and each stepping stone in the pathway is a target for therapy and so in fact what one looks for are overlaps you know are there broad themes that emerge when you look at subsets of these genes and I think there are so this is uh, giving us really the only way thus far to understand the broad strokes of what can cause this disease and therefore how to treat it. One of the most extraordinary developments in the last uh, really only five years or so has been a technology whereby you can take a tiny piece of skin, uh, grow uh, from it uh, fibroblasts in a petri dish, turn those into stem cells and then turn the stem cells into motor neurons. So one can literally have in a petri dish motor neurons from the same patient one is seeing in the clinic. Which is, which, is, which is quite extraordinary. Why is that important? That's important because you now have the exact genetic makeup in those motor neurons of the very patient. When we make a mouse model, we have to manipulate the genetics in ways which work but are somewhat artificial. So this new uh, stem cell based technology is, is really quite extraordinary in terms of making a much more precise cellular model. And it certainly is a big step toward personalized medicine. There has been enormous uh, progress and there are grounds very legitimately for, for, for hope and encouragement. And of course, as, as we all know, there's been increasing awareness of the disease and that too has, has helped uh, largely in the fundraising arena, but that's critical.